Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to the last episode of Detention. Well, I don't know if it's going to be the last episode, but I'm assuming that it's going to be the last episode because it's been four chapters now, and I don't think that this game is that long. I mean, it was only, what, ten bucks when I bought it? So if it's longer than this, then bravo! I got my money's worth. Well, I already got my money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no more money talk. There is a dark, shadowy figure right in front of us, and Mama told me not to play that game when these figures are staring at us, so we're gonna continue, guys. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you. Well, hello, you. I'm me. Yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering, Feng Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing family, losing my life, losing myself. Do you guys hear something whimpering in the background? Oh, it's giving me goosebumps. But I want to say something before I continue this. I was looking in the comments and I kept saying that Ray was having a relationship with the authority figure. I was completely wrong. She was having a relationship with the counselor, the male counselor, and he was also having a relationship with Miss Yin. So it was a fucked up love triangle between student, teacher, and teacher. So I just wanted to clear that up and shout out to the people in the comments that told me that. Anyway. What do we fear the most? I feel like we have to choose the best answer for the game and not something that I personally think. Because I think for me, losing my family is something I would fear the most. But in terms of this game, what Rey would fear the most, I think she would fear losing herself. Believe that we are all born free. Eager to walk on your own path. And afraid of losing yourself. You are me. Yes. We are her. Whoa. What in the world? So wait, we can jump between realities? So this is a spirit reality because she is kind of see-through. She's kind of transparent. This one is what, the past? Because it does look a little bit grainy. Let me save real quick because I haven't saved since the last episode. This is an altar for praying. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go click on this, go to the past world. So we're back at the school. I guess it's repeating itself because from what I'm getting at this game, Ray has done something in the past that she cannot let go. I think that's why the spirit was asking me, what do I fear losing most? And I'm in that world I'm in because I've been sinning and I can't let it go. So Ray did something that got her in the situation where she's stuck in this realm. Does that mean that Ray is dead or alive? We're about to find out. But hopefully I'm going, yeah, there was a spirit right there. I think I'm going the right way. This story is really hard to figure out. The bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. Like I said, it's hard to figure out, but I think I'm starting to get it. I'm, I'm starting to understand it. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully we're not all lost. Cause I was lost. I think I'm starting to get found. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again... ...to never mention this book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yin? Is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon, the book club might come to an end. Miss Yin, why are things like this? I'm sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. 
Mr. Chang never brought us any of these books in the first place, right? Ha! <laughs> I know I can always count on you. So Miss Yin, Wei, and a number of other students were participating in a forbidden book club because I believe the place that they're in, it's really strict. There's all these rules and one of the things they can't have is a book club, I believe. So this is a clipping from Return Home for Burial. Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. So wait, I was wrong about the puppet show because I thought that Miss Yin had a sack over her head and the authority figure killed her. Apparently, from this clipping, she escaped the country and was blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. Okay, so from what I remember about martial law, usually it's somebody from the military or a different power taking over the current power of that country and forcing a new set of rules to make sure the country is functioning the way they want them to. I think that's what martial law is. I don't have the exact definition because I haven't heard that term in a long time. So I think they were having a book club that they weren't supposed to have. Somebody found out about it. Miss Yin left the country and she was fighting for human rights and all that. And I think that Wei died because of it. Oh, there's another figure here. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. Okay. So now we're just shifting through realities. The door handle is broken. I can't get in. Uh, so do I go back as this other spirit right here? Let's go outside. Hmm. What's going on here? Let me go back to the shadow that I was. Right here. Let me go outside. It said it'll follow me anywhere I go, right? No? Hold on, what's going on here? Let me try going down here. I've gotta figure this out. This is kind of confusing. Like, they put these things on you without telling you anything that it's about, and they expect you to just get it. I mean, the puzzles in this game aren't that hard. They're not even hard at all. But I'm just saying, like, it takes you some time to go, Oh, dear! That's what I'm supposed to do! Oh, okay. So the shadow is following me. So apparently I have to go here? And now this figure is on the other side. Remember when you enrolled? So full of passion. Participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities. Grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose... To escape, to turn a blind eye, grim acceptance. Okay, what would Ray choose? So, she wasn't getting much family attention at home because, first of all, the dad was cheating on the wife with some random hussy and they were always arguing. I'm assuming that the dad was abusive and Ray was not getting any praise or recognition even though she was one of the top in terms of academics at her school. So maybe she grimly accepted her life. Did I not choose the right one? Oh, I guess I didn't. Can we do that again? Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna go through this slightly ajar door. I wonder if it tells you if you pick the right choice. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. Hey, boys. You guys burning some books? Remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages, or else this would be for naught. Hey, Wei. You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight, is that true? 
I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is, do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Stop asking questions. I am as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. So somebody found out about the reading list. I'm assuming that something bad happened to those two boys. They probably died. A written verdict from courts. Wait, they went to courts? A torn piece of the verdict. Cheng Ming Yue, district level educator, is found guilty with students Wei and others of collusion with communist forces. Cheng Ming Yue is to be put to death after the court's ruling. That is so fucked up. Wei Chung Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces, reading a prohibited text with rebellious and corrupt thoughts, will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. 15 years, god damn! It's a long ass time! Just for reading some books? I mean, I know it wasn't allowed due to the martial law that was on the country, that was on the country at the time, but jeez. Who's that? Buddy? And I'm not gonna front with you guys. I don't have 100% understanding of martial law, so I do need to get re educated with it. But I'm guessing that they thought that those kids were plotting and scheming against the country, and they thought they were gonna rebel because of the books they were reading. Who's talking inside the bathroom stall? Is this the new meeting area? The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom? Yeah. I'm coming in. What? There's another world inside the bathroom stall? What the fuck? I wish my bathrooms at school had that. That's crazy. That's absolutely cry cry. Beautiful music is playing though. It's playing such a soft tune, making my nip nips hard. This is the piano room where I was getting a round of applause because my piano skills were on fleek. Hey, dude, my dude, playing the piano. I see you, guy. There's another note on here. That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word because of fear, remorse, the reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrypt man. Whoa. Remember when we were on the roof? Somebody jumped off. I thought that was Wei. It was actually Ray who jumped off. So did Ray commit suicide? Because of the snitching tag that she got from other students? She probably did snitch. And she felt so guilty of it that she killed herself. Let me save real quick because some shit is going on. And before we go any further, I need to check something just so we can make something clear. Okay guys, so I'm reading more about martial law and it says typically the imposition of martial law accompanies curfews, the suspension of civil law, civil rights, and habeas corpus, and the application or extension of military law or military justice to civilians. Civilians defying martial law may be subjected to military tribunal, court martial. Okay, so this country was overruled by military power and they were trying to abide by a new set of laws. That's what I'm getting from this game. I just wanted to understand more about martial law. But now we're back, I think in like the second or third chapter. I think I'm starting to get this. So I think Ray committed suicide because she snitched because she leaked the, the readings, the reading list and her classmates got in trouble for it. A lot of them went to jail. Some of them even got the death penalty. So I think she's just guilt-ridden and she killed herself. There's a note in the carts. 
Yeah, I remember that part. There was a note in the cart. Let's just keep going, guys. We're gonna figure this out once and for all. This story is so interesting! Whoa. What the? Girl! My shadow is the one leading me now! Huh? I think this is one of those puzzles that I did previously. Where I had to lead the shadow to the other side of the room. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So, let's turn this off. Turn it on. Bring this one back. And then... We turn this off. And now she's gonna go through! Because she moves in darkness. And yeah, see? There's more. Acting immediately on one's determination. This is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny, live a laid-back life, submit to one's fate. I believe the best answer here would be the first one. Take hold of your destiny. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Yes, another right answer. I am you, you are me. We're a happy family. And a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me? Thank you, thank you. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. I can never redeem myself. Did I make the right choices? It's the authority figure. What's up, my guy? Instructor Bai. This is the book list I mentioned before. See, I knew it. She is the snitcher. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. Why would she do that though? Why would she snitch on them? Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Quietly accept? Try to take them back? Calm indifference. I think we just need to quietly accept. Ah, oh, I guess the dot dot dots mean I fucked up. Like, the game is telling me, oh, you done fucked up. You picked the wrong choice, girlfriend. I don't understand why she snitched, though. I don't get that part. I'm starting to get everything this story is telling us. But why did she do that, though? If you guys already know why, like, if you already watched this playthrough or you played the game, don't tell me why yet, but if you guys haven't seen this and you're going through it with me for the first time, let me know why you think that Ray snitched on her classmates and her teacher. But this guy is going upstairs, so we're gonna give him a little follow. We're gonna sneak up on this boy right here. Smoking kills, you know. There's nothing over here? What was the point of that? Okay, another one of these. Memories are like a mirror, reflecting the true likeness of your soul. I feel like I'm not gonna get a good ending. Maybe you still want to forget Maybe you're still afraid. Facing your own aspirations, but not confessing to the truth. 
I am you. Yet you are not me. Oh, I feel like I made the wrong choices then. I think I'm in hell, guys. I think I'm gonna spend eternity in limbo. Constantly cycling over and over with only the river Sanzu at the end of your journey. Yet the knot of sin still lies unsolved. The bridge leading to Paramita lies in collapse. So the Requiem, with a warm crescendo, welcomes you once again. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> The writing in this game is on point. Whoever wrote these lines to this game must be like a poet or a writer or something because there's a lot of beautiful dialogue written in this game. Yeah, I think I made the wrong choices because I think the game is going to restart once I go inside this door and she is going to go through a never-ending loop. Wait, everybody's clapping for me. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. First, I'd like to thank my family. I couldn't do this without them. And second, I'd like to thank all my Cub Scouts. Because without them... Wait, why is there a noose in her hand? What the fuck? Why would you guys be clapping for that? That is so fucked up! And yet, I'm still clicking to go up on the stage to grab the noose. Wow. Alright. Stop clapping! You bastards! Whoa. No, 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 no. There has to be another way. Oh, I can't move? Oh, damn invisible video game barriers! Damn you! My only weakness! Well, it seems like I can't go anywhere else, guys. So, if something like this makes you feel some sort of way, then please skip ahead or don't even watch this next part because I feel like it's going to get fucked up. With the sound effects too? Ray, don't do this. Don't do this to me, girl! Oh. That's crazy. That's crazy how they just did that. And that's the ending that we got? Okay, so I'm assuming that I got the worst ending. Um, I think those choices at the end, those four to five questions that I chose, they all affected the ending. And the ones where I got the ta ta ta, I think I did that wrong. So I'm gonna redo this chapter. I'm gonna make sure I choose the right ones and let's see what ending I can get. So with this question, I think losing myself was the right answer because I actually got a response. Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. So I think every time the spirit responds to me, then I chose the right answer. When I just get like a ta 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 answer, then I know that I done fucked up. So we're gonna fast forward to the other questions, and hopefully I can choose them right this time. So for the second one, it says, So you chose to escape? To turn a blind eye, grim acceptance. The one I chose was acceptance. I think that I'm going to try to escape this time. The world is immeasurably vast. There is always a place to hide. You are me. Yes! So we got two out of two so far. So for this one, I believe that I got the answer right. It was take hold of your destiny. So I'm going to stick with that. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Okay, so so far we're three out of three. So for this one, I think I chose quietly accepted and I got the dots. So try to take them back is something I think the game would want me to say. Please? Yes! The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You 
or me? We're four for four, guys. Four for four with, I believe, one more to go. Let's see if anything changes from this point. Because I remember that we were in like a sea full of dead bodies. It was like a red sea. And I'm honestly still trying to figure out why Ray did what she did. Why did she snitch on the people and reveal the book reading list? Why did she do that? Is it because of her problems at home? Is it because she wasn't getting enough recognition for being one of the top academic performers at her school? I'm still trying to figure that part out because I think I've got everything pretty good in this game. I think I've understood pretty much everything, but I just still don't know why Ray did it. And hopefully they tell us if we get the good ending. Yeah, smoke it up, baby. Smoke it up. Let's go back downstairs. If you guys already know why she did it, please let me know in the comments below. Because your boy's still trying to figure out himself. There's something on the ground. Yellow paper plane. From the white deer to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart. So let us meet again in another life. To our freedom. Once again, the writing is beautiful in this game. This has to be new. Open the door! Chang Ming Hui, you are suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death. This is new. This is the guy she was having a relationship with. Looks like it will be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. <sighs> Why? Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly, to speak their minds without restriction or fear. Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think. When we could be hand in hand, living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I too in vain like the daffodils, fixated on my grandosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. Wow. So the guy she was having a relationship with died. Daffodils died by a river of crimson blood, decaying rust-like into the void. Holy crap. The music, the words, they were all perfect for that scene. I felt that. This must be the good ending. Oh, we're this guy? What the fuck? This guy's so stylish! Look at those shorts and that shirt! This guy's macking on the ladies, I bet. We've been seeing this guy, his ghost figure going through the school. Like, I don't know what his deal is, but apparently we're him now. Metal lodging for laborers. Alas, to be demolished, all to be demolished. Barred from the heavens and hampered from the underworld. I remember this old hag. Alone and wandering forever she goes. Yeah, guys, this is present day. This has to be the good ending. Or at least the ending that doesn't involve Ray doing what she did. We have a notebook. Hold on. Amnesty Certificate. A certificate of amnesty, name Wei Chung Ting, 
Type of pardon amnesty. Crime declared invalid. Okay. Soundtrack in this game is amazing, by the way. And there's no noose on the stage. That's good. Wait. This is it? Time. It rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. This is the ending. We got Light Wing again. Level design. Great level design, Light Wing. And beautiful name, by the way. I love that name. Are you kidding me? Who drew that? Dick butt? Come on, man. This is the only room we can go into. Please tell us more about Ray. Please. Don't end like this. Okay guys, so this is what I'm getting from this ending. This is supposedly a good ending because the guy we're playing as is Wei, so he ended up living in the good ending, but Rei committed suicide no matter what happens, and she's stuck in this sort of purgatory forever. She's gonna relive this endless cycle of what she did of releasing the reading list and living with the consequences of her decision. So I don't think Ray can ever have a good ending, but in the ending that we just got right here, Wei lives. I guess Ray dies no matter what, and she is always gonna be stuck in this loop. But anyway, guys, that was Detention. Thank you all so much for going through this journey with me. This game was very surprising to me. I enjoyed this a lot. Great story, great soundtrack, effective jump scares. So shout out to Red Candle Games. You guys made a hit. If you all enjoyed this series, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!